Billy, I've heard you've given up smoking cigars. Well, they make these e-cigars now. And, uh, oh, really? Yeah. Dude, I gotta see this. Wow. That's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. But the thing is, it'll never go down. Part of the part of the thrill, part of the fun of smoking a cigar is to smoke That's it like down. It's like a groundhog day. Yeah, to see how far you could smoke it to the nub. Yes. Is that true? So now you were just on tour. Hmm. I was in the West Coast. It was great for me because I hadn't been on the road since the last April. Right. And uh, I was very nervous about it. I go on with my old stuff and I improvise round it. Right. A guy in Washington once said. Connolly comes on with a naked Christmas tree and decorates it before your very eyes. So, so what I have is the, the Christmas tree that I take everywhere and then, right. and then stuff grows and old stuff falls off the end. And right. It's a kind of nerve-wracking thing, you know? Well, here's what I find, you know, when I watch your shows. You can go on for like 10 or more minutes and where I've forgotten the original point that you're making, That's right. then you always get back to it. I kind of speak the way everybody speaks. People in the street, when they're talking to one another, they talk about football and cats and dogs and wallpaper and is it going to rain? They don't stick to one subject. And so that's the way I do my show. I remember I was doing a joke about a guy who, every time he goes to pee, it goes like a fountain and soaks everybody close to him. Every night, I started breaking off halfway through it, veering <laughs> off and not coming back. Not coming back. I, it, it, just, it just took me away to the end of the show. And there was a guy, he missed it in the first night, so he came back the second night to hear the end of the story. Didn't get it. So he followed me up to Blackpool, which was 100 miles away. And I was doing the story there, and then I veered off, and he went, Billy! He's shouting from the balcony, I've been to three concerts. Could you finish the damn story? <laughs> Sometimes you go into a pub or a restaurant, anywhere with a little bar, and you'll see a crowd of people, maybe they're office workers from their local offices, and there'll be a, maybe 12 of them, or 15 of them, and they, they'll, every now and they'll be talking kind of loud and animated, and then every now and again, they'll burst into laughter, raucous laughter, right. belly laughs. Right. There isn't a comedian anywhere near them. And I always aspired to be as good as regular people are. George Carlin, for me, he was like a departure from the from the comedians that uh, yeah. I knew and yeah. loved, you know. But when I first saw him on the you know, the Johnny Carson show, and he had long hair and a beard, and he just was wearing like jeans, yeah. you, know, you know, and you had never seen that before. Do you remember George Carlin? Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. Did you like him? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know. And it was funny. I ended up. I thought maybe he was the best comedian that I'd ever seen. You know, after wondering who he was, yeah. him and Bill Cosby, I thought were right. breathtakingly good. Yeah. I'd never seen anything like that. What comedians did you like when you were Oh, going? Archie Bunker. So, but I mean like somebody who... Uh, stand-up comedians. Yeah, stand-up comedians. My, one of my favorite comedians is Papa Francisco, Ralphie huh? May. Now, who are they? Comedians. Have you ever heard of them? Pablo Francisco discovered California or something? No. Mexican. <laughs> ah, you go for alternative comedy? Whatever that means. I mean, I'm, what's well, alternative I don't, comedy? Well, I don't know. I don't know because I don't know who these guys are. So we'll, we'll have to sit there and like YouTube it or something. This way, you know. All right. Well, you were on that show. You were, um, were you on Saved by the Bell? Am I wrong? What, what oh, TV head show? of the class. Head of the class. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we got to start doing some research before you. Maybe you can help me with. Uh, the credits of the people that we interview. Oh, okay. I didn't even know Billy was a comedian. I He's... thought he was Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? This, this is, this is, he's my right, he, oh, he's on my left side, but he's my right hand man. He's uh... always keep your right hand man on your left hand side. I've always yeah. said that. <laughs> so, Billy, you've been here a while. Do you like living in New York? Oh, it's a great place. Yeah. Full of life. I love it. I remember it in the 70s, it was a wild place. 
but it had real character. It was a, there was a grittiness to it. Oh, I that, loved uh, it. Yeah. I thought it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I had toured America in 76 with Elton John. I was opening the show, so we did uh -huh. a week at Madison Square Garden and stuff right. like that. It was horrible. <laughs> What's it like doing uh, comedy in a, in a stadium? It's rotten for two reasons. One, the sheer size of it makes it really awkward, but the, they don't tell them you're on, you know? They're, they don't tell the audience when you're opening for Elton John. They don't you, introduce you? you? No. Well, they, they go, ladies and gentlemen, as the lights go down, they go, oh. <laughs> they go, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Elton, oh, friend. <laughs> Elton's friend? Elton's Is that how they introduce friend, you? <laughs> Billy Connolly, who, boo. <laughs> and then you get the frisbees, go, <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare. Now, so you know the owner of this, of this place, right? Yeah, uh, Dave Diamante. Dave Diamante. How did you guys meet? We met in another cigar place, the Velvet. Ah, Lounge. the Velvet. Yeah. That closed down, didn't down it? Down the Bowery, yeah, but it's closed down. So all the cigar smokers are wandering about like refugees, sniffing in doorways to see if they allow cigar smoking. Maybe I can go inside and get David to come out and yeah. uh, say hi. And Why not? See who's in there. Why not, yeah? indeed? All right, I'll go inside. Uh, are you okay here with Gio? He's a, he's, I don't trust him an inch, but... Well, I'll be right back. How's your cigar? It's absolutely... It's actually rather pleasant. Is it? Yeah. Excuse me, is Dave the owner here? Shh, we're filming. It's like a... Film? What the hell is this now? Steve. Hi. What are you doing? You know Colin? Yeah, I know Colin. Hey. I've been calling Colin for... I know. I was going to get back to you. When? Today or tomorrow. Tomorrow. I just got back in town. Came here to do this and... Thank you. Just give us 10 minutes. Well, I thought you had your other thing you were doing. Bench talk. I'm just trying to branch out a little. This is cigar talk. Do you have two shows? Yeah. And... One more in development. With who? Chris Rock. What? What are you doing with Chris Rock? Laundry talk. Colin came up with a good one. Dirty laundry, like air your dirty laundry. Yeah. You're a laundromat. Okay, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see you guys here. I have Billy Connolly outside. Oh, Billy's outside. Hey, Billy Connolly. I'm for David. Is da uh... David? He's right here. Billy Connolly's outside. Billy Connolly. Connolly. Yeah. You'd like to say hello to. I've met him once. I want to talk to him. Yeah, let's go yeah, say hi to Billy. You know him? You come back, though, right? Yeah, of course. I, I thought you, I, do you have an exclusive on him, or...? No. <laughs> Billy, are you smoking an e-cigar? I am, indeed. Steve gave me it. It's, it's actually rather good. Who knew they had e-cigars? When did this I start? Didn't know, I didn't know until yeah. today. It's kind of amazing. I took up cigar smoking, and, and now I'm giving it up. Because yeah. it, it, it kind of depresses me. It plunges me into a dark depression. I just would, my whole house, all I cared about was smoking cigars all day, all night. It's all I thought about my house. I smell like smoke. I get on a plane, if I had a gig for three days, I'd bring three boxes of cigars to the gig. Really? I was obsessed with them. And inhaled them? Mm -hmm. That's what really got me. I was inhaling them. I was walking down the street. I could just feel my breath. It was just powerful. It's much more powerful than the cigarettes. You know? Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to inhale it. No, I know, but I couldn't help it. <laughs> I love them. Have a little bit, a little bit more, a little. Right, bup, 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 bup. You know what? Do you mind if I park your car for you? Oh, I love it. I can do it. I can oh, do it. The man's gonna help us. I don't suppose you'd like an e-cigar. Uh, oh, how terrible! Oh, I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Well, cigars are great. David, she, I think she'd like a cigar. I know. I sure? like the smell of cigars. I don't like to smoke. Hey, hey, Colin, can you help me out here? What's going on? Can you just, I'm, try, I'm trying to, uh... You want us to sit in the car with you while no, you park? Don't get, don't get in, Colin. You gotta help me park it. You know yeah, what? I think out, I'm gonna go start again. Go. Yeah, I'll park come, back keep coming. Yeah, keep coming. You got it. You got like keep 10 coming. feet back here. You're good right there. You're good right there. Oh, oh, yes! Oh. Right. Lights are on. I gotta go. You didn't stick out there. We'll see you later, man. <laughs>